Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a UU match. This one is against Mega Study, and this is actually a really good match. I very much enjoyed myself in this match. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the teams. He's got a pretty decent team, but you know he's got Ambipom, which not really anyone uses because it's kind of, eh, it's not really surprising anymore now. Like it's sort of like ruined by the team preview because you don't lead with your lead, and then you can't get fake outed and stuff like that. You know, like I'm doing, I'm gonna lead with Red Steel because I'm like. Why not? Um, he's got a good core in his Umbreon and his uh, Dusclops. And then he's got uh, Raikou, which could possibly be Scarfed, because nothing else on his team is really a usual Scarf candidate kind of thing. But, um, like I said, I'm going to leave Registeel because Ambipom can't do like anything to me. That fake out barely does more than leftovers. Um, he's going to U-turn out, and I'm actually going to go straight for the Toxic, expecting him to go to this or hit him on top to uh, spin away the rocks or, you know, not be too bothered by the Thunder Wave. Plus, I thought if he went to this, Thunder Wave would hit me, whereas Toxic won't because I'm immune to it. Um, but he's got Heal Bell, which is another good thing to learn because uh, it's annoying, but again, Heal Bell only 8, so if you can get him to waste it, healing only 1 status your way ahead kind of thing like if, if if he's curing three or four statuses then you're screwed but if you can get him to use it off one toxic i mean toxic 16 pp right there so you know i'm gonna use toxic again as he switches to dusclops and it's gonna catch him and that's gonna be excellent because dusclops doesn't have heal bell uh he has usually pain split uh nightshade will-o-wisp and toxic or curse or confuse ray or something like that but uh, he will us my Roserite, which is fine because I can just cure the status by switching out. I'm going to throw up a Leech Seed because I know that it's going to heal me and stuff. He's going to go with the Seismic Toss. A little weird uh, that he has that instead of Nightshade. Also perfectly legal, but just, I don't know, odd, I guess. I mean, Seismic Toss doesn't hit Ghosts. Nightshade doesn't hit Normal Types. So it's like that that's what you're essentially looking at, wh whatever one you want to hit. And I guess he wants to hit Normal Types more. But uh, I go for Toxic Spice, he's going to pain split me, which I was expecting, but that's fine. Because uh, at this point, I was actually like, you know what, Rose Raids, eh, whatever. But uh, I actually looked at it again, and I'm like, wait a minute. His two walls, he can't really do anything to me. Hit him on top if he's a spinner, which he probably is, considering his team composition. Uh, he can't really do too much to Rose Raid either. I mean, Sucker Punch won't do anything if I'm using a, you know, Leech Seed or something. He's got Rapid Spin, Close Combat, I resist, and I won't even let him hit me with it anyways so it's not a big deal um but uh yeah and then like raikou is special so unless he's got like a couple calm minds up his hidden power ice isn't going to be doing anything ambipum's a bit of a worry but again i have registeel so that's fine um so i'm really like yeah roserade i should definitely save so i'm going to switch out here and he's going to make the prediction and go for the uh aura sphere just because it's obvious that i'm going to switch to a steel type to take the ice attack and uh, not every Raikou has Aura Sphere. I actually don't even like using Event Raikous because I'm like, Aura Sphere is only really for like Registeel and stuff like Tyranitar too, but he's not UU. So anyways, um, he switches to him on top and uh, I'm going to go out to Roserade because uh, I was figuring, you know, Aura Sphere is not going to do too much. And I guess he kind of thought that, figured whatever I do, ex like, can't do too much to him and switching to Roserade. Kind of the same thing, but I'm also like, he can't do anything to me. I mean, he's not going to close combat. He's going to wrap his spin definitely because I got full hazards. That, well, not spikes, but full hazards that I have. Um, so, yeah. So, I get off a Giga Drain, does a little bit of damage, heals me up a bit, which is uh, mainly what I was looking for to keep my Roserade around a little longer. And uh, I'm just going to go for the Toxic Spikes here. I figured he'd switch out because he's not going to want to sit in here and try and close combat me. That's going to do like. I don't know, probably a quarter-ish. And then he'll be losing defenses, and I can Giga Drain him and all that stuff. Uh, but he switches to Umbreon to Heal Bell, but I'm going to put him to sleep with my Sleep Powder, which not a lot of defensive Rose Raids carry, but I do because it's an amazing move. Uh, I switch out to Arcanine, and he's actually going to wake up first turn and go for the Wish, which kind of annoyed me, but hey, at least he didn't go for the Heal Bell, which he probably should have. But um, switches up to Raikou. I'm going to go for the Close Combat, and that is almost going to kill him. If I had one for the Flare Blitz, that would have. But, you know, obviously I didn't want to Flare Blitz and Umbreon. When I can close combat him, it'll do more damage and no recoil. But, um, yeah, so he takes the Wish. I thought the Wish I probably could have killed him with Extreme Speed, but 
he got the wish, so I can't. Uh, I'm going to switch out. He's actually going to switch out two into Hitmontop, predicting the Registeel. And I think I go to my... Oh, I do go for Registeel. Okay. I go to Registeel because it's like, whatever. Um, I didn't want him... I, I figured he'd go for HB Ice because I'd predict. Like, he went for Orisphere last time, so I'm like, he's going to not go for it now. And whatever. Again, he's going to Rapid Spin. I'm fairly confident about that, and even then, a close combat's not really going to kill me. So, I go for Seismic Toss, get a lot of damage on him. Most hit one tops don't carry rest, so that's not a big deal. He might, because he does have Heal Bell on his team, but... Eh, whatever. Um, I'm going to switch to him, hit him on top here, because I know he's going to close combat now, because he's like, damn it, he stayed in. And uh, close combat's going to do nothing after the Intimidate, because we're the same hit him on top. Like, identical, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I don't know. I have Stone Edge. He might have, like, Muck Punch or something. But otherwise, yeah, we're identical. Um, he's going to go for Sucker Punch. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to go for Close Combat. It's going to kill him, and uh, he's going to die. Sucker Punch, obviously, inconsequential. Did, like, 10 damage, so I really don't care about that. But, uh, yeah, so now he's going to go to Ambipom. I'm like, obviously, he's going to Fake Out. So go to Red Steel. He's actually going to go for the low kick, which is a nice... Or low sweep, rather. Um, I actually didn't even realize that. I just saw the foot when I was in the battle. And I didn't, I, I'm like, I assumed it was low kick. But I guess it's low sweep. So I, I don't know why he did that. Because low sweep is like bulldoze. And increase, it decreases speed. Which didn't even work for me because I have clear body. But, um, yeah, low kick would have done a lot more damage. Maybe he didn't know. And he just put low sweep because it's almost low kick. But... They are different. Um, set up rocks again because he's on top is dead now. I'm going to go out to Roserade. And uh, here's where the true value of Roserade really shines. Because I'm like, you really can't touch me. You've got an Azumarill, which, yeah, Ice Punch can hit me, but I'm not going to let you. Uh, and then pretty much everything else is, like, really screwed against Roserade. Uh, Envy Palm again, not so much, but I have Reggie Steel and him on top to handle them. Um... So, yeah, I uh, go for the Sleep Powder, because I can. He's going to actually switch out to Raikou, and that's going to put him to sleep. I'm going to go for the Leech Sheet here, just in case he wants to switch out right away, and gain back uh, a decent amount of health. But uh, now he's going to switch out, because he figures he put Leech Sheet up. He doesn't want to be sitting in there and getting Leech Sheet. Although, I could have went for Giga Drain and, like, 2 it KO'd him-ish, but... Meh, oh well. Go for Giga Drain now. He goes back out to Umbreon. I'm going to set up Toxic Spikes because I can. I figure he's going to Heal Bell or Wish. And uh, Heal Belling would be a dumb move because, again, I just put him to sleep then. That would be fine. I figure he's going to pass out to Raikou, but I can't kill him with Giga Drain unless I get a crit because it only does about a third. And, um, you know, now looking at it, I, it would have been close. I thought he was closer to half. And I sort of forgot about Stealth Rocks. But, whatever. Either way, he's still asleep, so uh, I'm going to drain him, and that's going to do, like I said, a third. He stays asleep, I'm going to drain him again, and uh, another third. Now he's going to wake up, he's going to go for Hidden Power Ice, which does 154 damage, and I didn't notice this last time, but it did 154 damage with Aura Sphere to Registeel, and I looked it up, and he's supposed to be Rash because he has Aura Sphere because he's an event Raikou, so he has to be Rash because they're all Rash, um, but Rash... Obviously, he's not Life Orb because there's no recoil. The best he can be is Expert Belt, and that does both 153 damage to both Registeel and Roserade with respective attacks. And he did 154 to both, so that means he's got to be Specs. But if he's Rash Specs, minimum damage on both hits, again, is 160. So he has to be Timid Specs, which means his Raikou is illegal. So if you're watching Mega Study, your Raikou is illegal. It has to be Rash if it has Aura Sphere, just like... Event Entes have to be adamant if they have Extreme Speed Flare Blitz. There's also one for Suicune with Extreme Speed and... Something, I don't remember. Uh, I want to say, like... Twister or something? I don't know, whatever. Um, anyways, so I'm going to stay in on his... Uh, what's the thing called with the tail? Azumarill. I'm going to go for Giga Drain. I know it'll do a lot. I know it won't kill me, but I know I'm faster than him. So if he goes for Ice Punch, yeah, it'll kill me, but it's like, I don't care. Um, he goes for Waterfall over predicting again on the Registeel. Obvious switch in and Ice Punch would do nothing, whereas Waterfall will do a lot more. But uh, it doesn't work out for him. Goes to Ambu Pump. I'm going to switch out to my Hitmon Top. I've got close combat. It'll 2 it KO his Umbreon, no problem. 
and it'll one hit KO his ambi palm, no problem. So he's just gonna run. He knows he can't do anything to me. I mean, resisted payback and an ambi palm. It, it, I still have all my Pokemon, so there's nothing he can really do to me. I had a Scarf Needle King and um, Sharpedo, which I didn't get to use, which I kind of wanted to. Um, but yeah, like I said, so not exactly a close match, I would say. Uh, but he did play well, and you know, I played better, and Rosary just really destroyed his team. The only thing he could really do to kill it was get me to stay in against the Ambipom, which I wouldn't really do. Or uh, hit me with an ice punch there, which he could have and killed me, but, you know, he didn't, so uh, it didn't. But otherwise, yeah, his walls just really couldn't do anything to me. They could status me, but I switch out, natural cure. I have leech seed and, and sp toxic spikes and sleep powder and stuff like that. So it's it's a really good rosary set. I was actually going to bring one of my, like, focus sash sets, just like a lead sort of thing. But then I'm like, no, I want a specially defensive one. And uh, it ended up paying off huge, this battle. Absolutely huge. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. I enjoyed it, definitely, as I said at the top of the show. I had a lot of fun, and uh, it was cool. I had to do a lot of work to get through this, man. I mean, there was, like, no one on the Wi-Fi Battle Finder this morning, probably because it hasn't been working for the past few days. I got one guy to join, and he's like, oh, how do we do this, right? And I'm like, is this your first Wi-Fi battle? He's like, no. And I'm like, then why don't you know how to do this? He's like, oh, I mean, like, do we, like, wait for each other, whatever, like, Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I'm like, okay. And then he's like, so what do I do? Do I... Do I go in with the, the sea gear? And I'm like, so this is your first Wi-Fi battle. And then he's like, oh, okay, never mind. I figured it out. I'm going in. So I'm like, all right, whatever. We go. And by the way, we had decided on NU. Well, he's like, I don't know. You know, just pick. So I said NU. And my looking for a battle line was literally black and white, anything but OU. He brings uh, Gliscor, Ninetales, Charizard, Chansey, Terrakion, and something else like it's like what <laughs> i was i was yeah i was really pissed about that um but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling and you guys can uh, enjoy your day and uh, i'll see you all on monday